Hello everyone and welcome to Hardcore Minecraft. Here's the seed, here's the world, I right, took off. Let's get started. We gotta punch a tree. Then we get some stone and then some iron. After running around, I find a village and then I proceed to decimate their entire food supply. After increasing world hunger, I find a mineshaft next to the village and I jump in. I make a small base of operations. I almost died to a couple of creepers. I then proceed to watch a couple of skeletons fight each other. And then I kill the winner. After finding a big cave, I jump in. And I soon regret my decision. I almost get killed by a zombie conga line. I find my first diamonds, then I have a few close calls with some creepers. Skeletons then cement the idea that they're the most annoying mob in the game. Almost die again to some creepers. After finding my way out, I am lost. Eventually, I find my way back home, and I steal a person's house. After making a diamond pickaxe, I mine some obsidian. I'm running out of food, so I then make a farm. I then make another portal. After getting into the nether, I find another fortress right next to me. But before I head there, I decide to trade with some piglins for some end of place. While the piglin is trading, I decide to kill some blazes. After getting home, I decide to make some eyes of ender. And then I go off to find the stronghold. I find a weird tree on our pillar. And the stronghold was actually really close to the tree. And then dig down. After finding the portal, I realize I am one eye of ender short. I then steal some books from the library, and make myself my enchanting station at home. I then go to the nether to get some cords for some levels. I then find a zombie villager in the overworld. I then cure the zombie villager. And I get a good mending trade. I then do some enchanting. And then I make some fireworks. After getting a full set of diamond armor, and enchanting a bow. After placing all the eyes in the portal, it's time to fight the ender dragon. I destroy all the end crystals. And I slay the dragon. After getting the last hit on the ender dragon, I decide to head to the end gateway. After finally finding an end fortress with a ship, I decide to pull over and retrieve my elytra. After getting my elytra, I head back to the overworld. I then decide to fly around my base a bit and get the scope of the land. I then head back to the nether in search of wither skulls. I want to fight the wither boss, but mining quartz for levels is getting slow. I decide to make an enderman exp farm. After spending an hour enchanting all my weapons and tools, I finally make a god sword. After doing all that preparation, I soon realize that you can just spawn the wither under the end portal and he can't do anything about it. I then go on a mining trip to get as much ore as I can so I can make a full beacon. After scraping all my materials, I was able to make a full beacon. Collecting materials from my base, I pick my pickaxe. After mining stone for a couple hours, I start outlining my base. After spending time making my base, I decide I want to give my world a story, giving it life. To do this, I need to build details someone considered. I want villagers not to be trapped in a trading hall. I want them to feel like they have a place, so I decide to make a blacksmith. And for every building I make in this world, I want it to have a purpose. 
After making the foundation of my base, I decided to make a storage room so I won't have to keep going back and forth in between the village. After that, I need to make a villager breeder so I can start getting villagers into my castle. Here's a flyby of what we have so far. After making the villager breeder, I want to have an iron farm. I had some trouble at first, but I think I got it sorted. After flying around so much, I realize I'm getting low on fireworks. So I try to make a creeper farm. At first, I thought making this creeper farm in the middle of the ocean would be best for the spawn rates. But I would later realize that I would never be close enough to spawn creepers when I'm in my base. I will rebuild this farm in the future. After the creeper farm, I decide to give my castle some life by making a stable area. I then get some bees so I can make honey blocks so I can trap my villagers. I then make a small library so I can have my librarians nearby. I then make an archery range to store my Fletcher. I then make a brewing room so I can have my clerics close by. After doing the final details in the castle, by adding stairways and connecting all the towers, I think I am done for the castle for now. Obviously there are always things to add, but right now I want to start other projects. Like farms for all the items I will ever need in hardcore Minecraft. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next one.